numbers sometimes do lie. Like, the first year, they 12 and 4, but they got bounced out in the postseason by the Philadelphia Eagles. Their defense was, they were monsters. But again, there's problems at the quarterback position. Okay, fair enough. Last two years, he was 8 and 8. Both years, 8 and 8. He has something to do, him and Ryan Pace. I think they both need to be gone. How do you move up in the draft to draft Mitchell Trubisky and and bypassing Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes. And then now Mitchell Trubisky's a Buffalo Bill. I mean, that's that's a fireable offense in and of itself. Correct me if I'm wrong, Marcus Spears. You move up. You got the number two <laughs> overall pick in the draft. You pass up Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes. And you moved up to bypass them to get Mitchell Trubisky, who you now have let him, let, let you know, just let him go. You don't want him no more. So he ends up signing as a backup with the Buffalo Bills. If that ain't an egregious offense by a GM and a head coach, I don't know what is. You got Khalil Mack and, and Jackson and the crew there on the defense, monsters of the midway. They living up to their end of the bargain. They have no help. You sign Nick Foles. That doesn't seem to work out for you as well. So the bottom line is this. You Matt Nagy, these are supposed to be problems you were supposed to solve. The fact that you did it, Somebody needs to be held accountable for it. Clearly, the players were. They ain't there no more. Why the hell you still there? Yeah, I think they should go. Him and Ryan Pace. No, I don't agree about Matt Nagy. Look, we saw games last season where afterwards we're scratching our heads about the coach. There's no doubt about that. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that's not the case. Fact of the matter is the Bears have never drafted a real and developed a real quarterback ever. Ever in my lifetime, I'm 47 years old. So the fact that they haven't done that is on the GMs. That's on the franchise. Before I look at the coach, you didn't have a quarterback. You didn't have an offensive line. That's not on the coach to me. It may be Nagy's got to go. But I think Ryan Pace is on the firing line first. And if you need to, like, I'm not convinced Nagy can't coach. I'm convinced that the Bears need to do a better job getting a quarterback and protecting him. Because here we walk into another season, and they're trying to sell Andy Dalton this time to the fan base. Come on. Max, I'm with you. I'm not I, – Stephen A., I disagree. I don't – look, Matt Nagy being 28 and 20 above 500 with everything that's transpired. Now, what I will say is, if I knew how involved he was – and beating the table to go up and get Mitchell Trubisky and they worked out like this, I'd say he needs to be gone. But if that was Ryan Pace, I think Ryan Pace is the guy under fire. 12 and 4, 8 and 8 and 8 and 8 shouldn't, okay. shouldn't, shouldn't subject you to okay. being fired after your three years as a That's head coach. It. But the bottom line is Matt Nagy with Andy Dalton is going to have to win some games. If not, he's going to be looking for a job, and it don't matter what we Good say luck. on first take. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.